Welcome back to Millie a Cockapoo. Today I'm going to be giving you 10 things that you should expect when you're expecting a puppy. Number one, not all puppies will take to crate training. When you research and get in a puppy, you'll see that a lot of sites promote crate training and it does have its benefits, but not all puppies will like it and it's not always the right thing to do for your situation. So take the advice with a pinch of salt and do what you think is best for you and your dog. For example, I didn't do the full crate training. Yes, Millie goes into a crate at night, but during the day if I left her in the crate, she would just scream. And the same would go if she was in a playpen. However, if I just let her have the free roam in the kitchen, she would be fine and settle down. So tailor crate training and all other training to what works best for you and your dog. Number two. No matter how much you try, your life will be different and you will have to change your routine to fit in the puppy. You've got to take into consideration how much time they need to be trained, taken for walks and have socialisation and playing with you. You can't just expect them to fit into your everyday life. You need to work together to find a new balance. Number three, puppies are a lot like babies. And something I wish was promoted more online is the fact that most dogs do not sleep through the night. You only see people sharing their positive stories of their dogs that sleep through the night from day one. But in actual fact, most puppies aren't like that. The bladders aren't strong enough to last throughout the night. So that means you're going to have to get up once and let them out, at least. For Millie, I was having to get up at least every two hours until she was about 12 weeks old, I would say. And then it gradually cut down. Those first few weeks are the hardest and you will be sleep deprived, but you've just got to do it and you'll let them out. Number four, there's a lot of things that you will purchase that you will never use. So don't buy everything that you see online in those first few weeks. Wait and see if you need them. An example for this for me was puppy pads. If you get your dog through a breeder, they should give you a puppy pack in the UK and in there should be included a few puppy pads. Use those to begin with if you want to use puppy pads don't buy a full packet like I did. Because Millie just chewed them and because I've got an outdoor space, we just toilet trained and used outside instead and never needed the puppy pads. Another example I can think of is harnesses and collars. Wait until the puppy arrives at home before buying any of these and then measure them yourself and give a bit of wiggle room for them to grow into. Because especially harnesses, you're not really gonna use them in the first few weeks until they can go out for a walk and they grow so much between 8 and 12 weeks so you might as well wait. Collars they can tend to adjust a bit more so I'd say get one at least during the car journey so that they can be restrained. Again I didn't have to buy one because a lead and a collar were given to me through the breeder in the puppy pack so a lot of the stuff you get given when you go in the breeder route so don't waste your money and just wait and see if you want different when they're a bit older. Number five. Training takes a lot of time and patience from both you and your puppy. You're going to have to invest a lot of time and effort into training them in those first few weeks especially because they're like a sponge and they pick everything up, all the good and bad habits. So I would advise at least being able to be with them for the first few weeks so that you can get the training on the go. Number six, and I've sort of mentioned this before, but if you have access to an outdoor space, don't waste your money on puppy pads. Just invest the time and effort it takes and take your dog outside. By doing this, they don't get confused as to where they can go. And I think you actually train them quicker. From my experience, Millie was definitely house trained a lot quicker than I think she would have been if I'd used puppy pads. Because in my personal opinion, I think they can then get confused as to where they can go. Don't get me wrong. If you're only relying on outside, there will be accidents. It's unavoidable. You can watch them like a hawk and they'll still just turn around and tiddle somewhere without you noticing. But just make sure you don't shout at them, pick them up, take them outside and let them know where they should go. And invest in a good carpet cleaner just to clear up the mess afterwards. They will soon pick up where they should and shouldn't go. Number seven. If your puppy is your first dog and you don't have any children, no matter how much you tell yourself that you're going to treat them like a dog because they are a dog, you will treat them like a baby and your child. You will treat them as the most precious thing in the world and your world will evolve around them. You will want to take them everywhere you can with you and people will think you're crazy and they're probably going to be spoiled. But never mind. Number eight, the first four weeks are the hardest. During this time, you are trying to house train them, 
train them the basics like the name and sit. You're both getting used to each other and your new routine. Your dog is getting used to being without their siblings and in a new environment. And it's all just new. And the worst part is you can't take them outside and let them get that exercise. It is easier if you get your dog in the summer or if the weather's slightly nicer and you have an outdoor space. So at least then you can go play out there. But until they can go out for the walks, it's a lot of time goes into playing with them. And you to try and get out that energy and the frustrations. But I promise, once they can go out for a walk, it will get a hundred times easier. Number nine, and following on from number eight, during those first few weeks, it's completely normal to have a breakdown. You feel like the worst dog parent if you're not getting on top of the training or the basic commands. If the dog's just not picking them up, but it's not your fault. They will get it eventually and they all learn at different paces. For me, it was puppy biting. Millie was like a little shark going for my ankles whenever I was outside. She would always wait until we was outside. She never did it in the house. And then until I was about halfway down the garden and then she would attack. And I'd just be stuck there not knowing what to do. So you would just try and get back to the house as quick as possible and back inside. In the end, I wore wellies all the time. And she stopped biting me. So if your puppy's biting your ankles as well when you're outside, put on a pair of wellies so they can't go and bite them. It works miracles. But now she doesn't do that at all. And by the time she was 16 weeks, I'd say, she stopped doing it altogether. But things like that will get to you over time and you'll have a breakdown. Just know it's completely normal and everyone has been through it. If they're honest with themselves, I actually tell you the truth. Number 10 and the final one on my list. Puppy blues is a real thing. Again, this is something that not many people talk about, but you will probably get them in varying different forms because it is a new situation that you've got to adapt to quickly. For me, it was a loss of appetite. I didn't want to eat anything for that first week and it was because I was so worried that I would need to do everything for Millie and probably because I was sleep deprived. But just now, it's completely normal to go through puppy blues. It's a big change getting a dog. So I hope some of those tips help you if you're getting a puppy. And if you are, put in the comments below what type of dog you're getting. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up and make sure to subscribe. And press the notification bell so you don't miss a video from us. Thank you for watching. Number three, puppies are a lot like babies. I'm sorry, Milling was moving them. Yes, Millie? Millie's actually been pretty quiet during Lolly. She's been asleep the entire time.